Hey everybody, welcome back to Auto Scholar with Mr. B. I'm Mr. B and today we have a very special guest. This is Brian who runs Mint Vintage and uh, we have our E30 Touring here. Uh, the only problem with the Touring is it's not perfect enough for me. So it does have some dents and some little dings just over the 34 years of it being in existence. Just lots of parking lots, lots of doors opening and things like that. So I got Brian from Mint Vintage. He's coming down here and he's doing what we call paintless dent repair. So Brian, tell us how paintless dent repair works and tell us about your company. So uh, I own Mint Vintage. We do some auto detailing, paint correction, ceramic coatings, and, uh, and some paintless dent repair. Um, what we're going to be doing today is getting up under the body panels on this thing and pushing out some of the dents that, you know, that it's accrued over time. Um, it is a uh, pretty, pretty complex job. Um, looks simple. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of experience. Uh, we're going to get behind it. We're going to use some PDR rods uh, to push some dents out. We're going to use some knockdown tools. Uh, and some blending tools to bring everything together and hopefully end up with a nice uh, clean surface when we're all done. Awesome. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for what we're not wanting to do is having to refinish these panels and maybe the paint doesn't match and it's going to take weeks and weeks uh, of being at a body shop. You're going to be on the back burner because you're not an insurance job. There's a lot of convenience to paint with dent removal and it keeps the factory finish. If you have a factory finish or factory paint on your car, you're not losing that originality by doing paintless dent removal. So there's a lot of features, advantages, and benefits to paint, uh, paintless dent removal. But uh, to me, it's convenience and cost. You know, we've got so much money in other parts of this car that being able to bring this up to a, a show finish and being able to take this to a car show and being proud of it is one of the biggest advantages of using a service like Mint Vintage. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you over. He's got a a dent picked out on the hood that we're going to show you guys a before and after of, and then he's just going to talk a little bit about the process of removing this dent, and then we'll see how it looks after it gets done. So follow us, and uh, we're going to move the camera over here to the hood to show you what we're doing. Okay, so I have a pretty nasty dent right here in this area, and with the camera, it's very hard to see. So tell me, how do you show me how you evaluate these dents and where we go from here? So the first thing we're going to do is come in with our PDR lights, and we're going to look at the dent from as many angles as we can. Wow, that is, that, that really brings it out. Yeah, we want to see the shape of it, and as you can see, once the lights are on it, you can really get the details of the dent. This is much more complex than it looked without the light on it. It looks very soft before. It looked very shallow. With the light on, you can see this is actually a couple small dents all pushed together. Um, it moved a lot of metal whenever it hit, so we're going to put our lights on it, we're going to look at it from every angle, and then we're going to decide where to start pushing with our PDR rods, and uh, we're going to begin the process. Okay, man, I can't wait to see it done, because let me tell you, that is, it looks so much worse with the lights on. <laughs> and I remember when I first talked to you about doing this, you know, I was, I was trying to kind of feel you out and everything. I was like, man, I would send you pictures of this, but they just don't show up. But if right. I had one of these lights, man, let me tell you. It yeah, just putting a light on light is really what brings out all the detail in the den. Okay, I'm gonna let you get to work and uh, you know, we'll, we'll update the viewers here in just a sec.
so here is where that dent was. And man, let me tell you, I, I, I can't even, if, if I didn't tell you it was there, uh, you wouldn't know. And so tell me how you kind of approach this. So with a dent like that being uh, a little complex, um, really what we want to do is get in there, make sure we have good leverage, make sure we're using the right tools. Um, and then we're going to get in there and start picking up our lows. And as we pick up our lows, We'll start bringing down any highs that are around it. Um, a dent isn't just the low part. When a dent uh, impacts the metal, the metal moves in every direction. So we kind of have to chase everything around and uh, we bring the lows up and the highs down until we have a nice even surface and then we can start doing our finishing work, um, bringing up the micro lows until we are satisfied with the repair. And uh, yeah. I think it went pretty good. I mean, it, it really did. And, and uh, you know, paintless, sometimes you'll get uh, you know these repairs where we're doing paintless and they're just not perfect and and so you need to realize going into uh looking at pdr that not everything is repairable and you need to have a certain standard going in but let me tell you this is i mean compared to where it was and we still have to clean everything off it's dirty but uh there was also a, a, a pretty much identical dent right here and he got that out as well and He's working on some other, we kind of ran out of time today, but he's working on some more uh, up and down this car. And just with the, the age of the vehicle and how many parking spots this thing has been in his life, you're always gonna get this. But I mean, even if you have a brand new car, uh, it's susceptible to, you know, a kid opening the door or a shopping cart hitting your car or anything like that. It really is an option you need to look into because body shops right now, they're, they're charging so much money for this stuff. And so you can get a guy to come out. You won't have to worry about your paint not matching. You won't have to worry about your car being tied up for weeks or having to get a rental car or anything like that. Most of these guys out there are mobile, uh, but Mint Vintage, man, let me tell you, you yeah. did a great job. Thank you very much. And, uh, check uh, us out on Facebook, Instagram at Mint Vintage. Our website is mintdetailing.com. Feel free to reach out with any questions. If you need help, I can take care of you. Right, and I'm gonna put all that down in the description and in all my socials so uh you know if you have a classic car in the southeast area uh georgia south carolina area uh give brian a call because he does a really good job and uh so we're gonna wrap this up and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments again i'm on facebook instagram vk twitter any of those platforms under master tech mr b or auto scholar with mr b and you can uh, follow me on there. I do post a lot of stuff that I don't post on YouTube just because it's a different format. Uh, and I'm really working Twitter right now. So if you're on Twitter, Master Tech Mr. B, me over there and follow along for that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Brian's gonna clean up and I'm gonna get ready to go home for the weekend. So we'll see you next time on Auto Scholar with Mr. B.